The reopening of summer land border for vehicles importation has received approval from the federal government of Nigeria. The announcement was made by Ibrahim Musa, the director of road transport at the Ministry of Transportation, during an economic community of West African states meeting that brought together officials from Nigeria and Benin Republic. The decision to reopen the border came in response to criticism lodged by freight forwarders who operate at the Sem border. Meanwhile, the custom area controller of the Sem border command, Dari Nandi, expressed concern over the decline in revenue for the service. It was also pointed out that the suspension of vehicles import through the land borders during previous administration had adversely affected the income of the people. We're now being joined by Joseph, uh, who's uh, an operating officer of Jet Motors. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Yes, please. So quickly, uh, the closure of Semi Border followed the joint uh, border security exercise, which was ordered by the government, the then government of uh, President Mohamed Buhari. And the purpose for all of that was at securing Nigeria's land and maritime borders. Now, let's not forget that we had several perimeters why this border was closed. So I ask you, with the reopening of the border, do you think that we have secured our land and maritime borders? Yes, I believe that the, the land and maritime border are secure. I've been an issue. The, the, to me, there was no reason for the closure in the first place. The, the, we have our security agencies, we have custom, we have all these agencies, if they function well, if they do their job, they are to secure the maritime and our borders. So by opening it, it's, it's not going to compromise our security in any way. I think it's a nice thing and it's a, it's, it's a very good decision. To no, no, just I like to understand. Are you saying that you think or is that we have secured the borders? Because we also need to look at, I mean, there were several premise or parameters why uh, the border was actually closed in the first place by the uh, former administration, which was led by yeah. President Muhammad Buhari. No, so I, yeah. I, I need to get you clearly. Are you saying that you are sure that this borders, I mean, all of this, we have achieved the reason why we closed the borders in the first place have been achieved, or you're thinking? Oh, what I said that there was no even there was no reason for closing the border in the first place. The, though we have security challenges, fine, but closing the border will not solve the security challenges. Rather, we need the, the security operative to do their job. By closing border, we will not solve it in any way. Solving the security problem, the border will not closing border will not solve it in any way. So rather than closing the border, we should have employed uh, uh, intelligence uh, uh, and again technology to solve the security problem. Closing the border altogether will not solve the security problem. To me, closing the border does not achieve uh, that purpose. Rather, it only cause more hardship and then cause a lot of other things that were not intended. Well, I would also like to look at it because like I, I rightly mentioned, uh, there were several parameters why the border was closed. And one of such is that the uh, partial closure or closure of the Nigerian border with Bena Republic was due to massive smuggling activities, especially of rice, which uh, f the former president said threatened self-sufficiency which was already attained by his administration in terms of agriculture. So I, I'd like to ask you now, being that you're an expert, how self-sufficient are we in terms of rice production and agriculture generally? Okay. Yes. Uh, again, closing the border will not provide the food. What, what we need to do, we, we've invested in uh, agriculture especially rice. It can be, even Lagos said recently, they, 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 they partner some to ensure that uh, we have a lot of rice in, in Lagos. And if you go to some part of the north, the rice production in the part of the north in the last few years have been so encouraging. 
But again, coming back to close up the border, closing the border will not in any way help. Rather than closing, use the security agent, use the custom, let the custom do their job. We have custom there, we have a lot of security agencies manning the border. Let them do their job. If they do their job well, there's no need for closing. Any, any item that has been banned. I mean, this is the point where, I mean, for the want of time, let's quickly get to the other parts of the okay. question. I hope you understand that we're looking at, you know, the reason why the border was closed in the first place. Yeah. And we're also trying to understand if we have really achieved, uh, oh. you know, the purpose. Don't forget that government is a continuum. So we just, you know, expect that uh, there's a continuation. We have achieved a certain result. But quickly... Do you think that we have some economic and uh, security implication for the reopening of the border? What are the benefits? No, there are a lot of benefits for opening the border. Number one, if you look at our ports, the congestion in our ports may do business in Nigeria very uh, cumbersome, not encouraging, and a lot of people find it difficult to do business. We have instances where you bring goods to Nigeria, and and the, 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 your product, your product will enter tomorrow because you have to spend a lot of time getting them out of the port. And again, you will be wondering, sometimes you, take, you pay more than what it costs to move uh, antenna from Lagos to Kano. You pay more than that to move them from Nigerian ports to Lekki, for example, because of the, the, the road condition, the transport, the, the traffic and everything. So, and we have, we pass through all this in, in Nigerian port. So by opening the border, it means the, the pressure will reduce on uh, uh, port we have here, and it's going to make the economy buoyant. So by opening it, again, you could hear the, the custom saying the, the revenue reduce, the revenue Nigeria supposed to hear, Nigeria as a nation supposed to hear, and from uh, duty also reduce. So we are going to have a lot of economic benefits by opening the border. Then, yeah, let me just stop there. So are there specific, you know, benefits for the reopening of the border? What exactly are we expected? I mean, you know, the previous government or administration, which was led by okay. President uh, Muhammad Buhari, was very big on rice, self-sufficiency. But then again, I ask, are there, uh, you know, specifics? Is there anything that Nigeria should look forward to? Maybe I would give you a tip. Some people say that before this time, we had new cars coming to Lagos. If you look at Lagos, you see several cars, flying new cars. But you can't really see that again, uh, you know, for a long time. So w what does okay. this really mean? Okay, let me talk about cars. Be be before now, uh, majority of Nigerian cars, I mean, the majority of the cars used in Nigeria come through uh, semi-border, especially the one we corporate use, which popularly called Tokumbo. But with the closure of the border, it made that very difficult. Now, there's going to be part of the benefits of opening the border is that a lot of people will have access to that. And for us in this industry, because for us in, in this industry, we use Nigerian ports, even before now, before closure, during closure, and even after closure, we still use Nigerian ports because we bring, we, 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 we we bring in new vehicles, SKDs, and all this one are done here. But nevertheless, in general, there's going to be a lot of benefit because it's going to reduce the cost of, uh, of bringing in vehicles. And when the cost reduces, people, it will become more affordable. Meanwhile, the world contributor to the cost of, high cost of uh, planning in Nigeria is cost of do marriage. Sometimes you spend a lot of time before you clear your vehicle, it's entered the marriage at the terminal as well as the 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 the, the, uh, the, the carrier. That is the, the, the so by the time you look at it, you are paying the marriage from both ends. So and that will increase the cost of the vehicle. So with the opening of border, it's going to affect the price of vehicle. It's going to bring the vehicle, the price of vehicle down because you cannot clear it faster. And it's, it's easier to play again. Cheaper. Turning this off now, uh, you're saying that we should look forward to a lot of Nigerians and Lagosians 
importing new cars. And it's not going to be too difficult. Traffic is a lot of trouble, but we'll just leave it as at that. And thank you so much for being part of this news this evening. You are welcome. Thanks. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.